Mr. DeVoer to STEM Midland. This is our first episode discussing the new electives that will be coming next year to Northeast Middle School. Pleasure to be here. I assume you're going to ask me a lot of detailed questions and I better know, I better know my stuff. So yeah. I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so first question. Why did Midland Public Schools decide to change the electives at the middle school level? We really wanted to have um, the opportunity for students to take 21st century um, type classes, have those experiences. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, it, the thing that's hot right now is STEM. I mean, you're yeah. science, technology, engineering, math, and the district wants students to have the opportunity to have a pathway from elementary all the way through high school. So you have your elementary STEM school, they're doing a lot of things with um, PYP and, and STEM in the elementary, we wanted to have things in middle school and then a segue into high school. So you had experience to say, hey, I'm ready, I'm comfortable with these classes when I go to high school. So when will students be planning their schedules for next year? And the 6th and 7th graders are going to be making their selections for next year within the next couple weeks. We like to have that wrapped up about the first week of February. And then I start to know how many students have signed up for courses, how many we're going to be able to offer, and so on. If we have some that are on the bubble, then we will ask kids if they really intended to take these or yeah. look at alternates and those things. So what are the new electives being offered? Well, there's a lot of them. Yes. Um, in sixth grade, there's a brand new course that's, that's going to come into play. This one's called CSI Medicine in Space. Oh. I'll say so crime scene investigation medicine and space it's one course it's going to be a two day a week elective all year so very similar to the commitment you'd have for a band orchestra in spanish where you would take it two days a week all year and you're going to have it starts off you're going to get a background in medicine how professionals investigate look for clues as far as people so you're going to learn how to do heart rate blood pressure um body temperature those kinds of things to say okay what what does that tell me about a person's overall well-being? Mm -hmm. And then it moves into, at the end, the last thing you do, which sounds kind of cool to me, is you investigate through this whole CSI a murder mystery. So you uncover a murder mystery and you have to be like a crime scene investigator, use DNA, all kinds of things to solve that particular crime. Yeah, that should be really fun for the sixth graders because they don't get as many elective like options. No, and it's it's you know it's a, it's it, it's going to be interesting to see how many kids want to take it, you know, because um, it is a a science based elective where a lot of times people think of those as you know gym yeah. and art and those and um, right. then the the second part of it is you take after you finish up the medicine component then you do space exploration stuff and that ends with um, basically a simulation where they experience space travel. You you learn a lot about the history of flight in space, aeronautics which is the, the science of flight and then into, um, you know, experiencing what it would be like to fly in space and live in space. So, so cool. Yeah, it sounds really cool. And then yeah. at the end of it, they're going to do a little bit with computer programming. So they're going to do some real basic computer programming. So you're going to get a hodgepodge of different things. Mm -hmm. that, and then there's extensions of those classes in the high school. So you might want to take them down the road. In 7th and 8th grade, there's three new classes. Okay. Um, you've got um, one is called Code Wizards, which is where kids are going to learn basic coding for computers. Um, they're going to do a lot with learning about the different materials that are used, the wiring, um, the conductors, the physical tools that you use to design and make motherboards for computers. Um, and then after they do some of that, they get into the second part of it, which is called app creators, and they're going to ultimately make a, an app to serve on a, on a mobile phone. That would be helpful. Given a challenge, like a societal challenge that says, hey, we might need this to solve this problem, develop an app that might do it. And so, pretty cool. Is there going to be a class like that's sort of like the Hour of Code that we've been doing? Like it, 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 this is going to be synonymous with our code. Okay. You're, you're, if, you've, if you've been exposed to some coding, you're going to get a lot more in-depth here. Computer coding and then app creation. And they're actually going to use um, the, uh, the MIT App Inventor, one from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to be using real type stuff here um, 
in order to develop your skills. So you're going to be exposed to things that a lot of kids don't don't get an opportunity for. So that's one that's one course. That's called Code Wizards, okay? And that's in, that's a semester course. Each one of those that I described um, is the the computer science for innovation, and then the app creation for each nine weeks, okay? Green design is another one, and that starts off with a thing called new design and modeling, where you're gonna it's similar to using CAD, computer aided design, yeah. designing structures, um, um, and that end, and that ends with a simulation design. Uh, a toy for a child who has a developmental disability. So you're going to learn about how to develop um, using computers um, in 2D and 3D simulation and then you're going to design a toy that would work with a student who had a physical or developmental handicap. Yeah, that'll be really good. Um, so who's going to be teaching these classes? Uh, we're going to use the current staff that we have. There's a lot of interest in our Northeast staff um, of teachers that would like to get the training and they would like to teach these courses. Some of them, um, like one of our teachers actually has a minor in architecture. So the next class that I was going to talk about, um, or actually this one in green design, it moves into green architecture, which is the second nine weeks, and you learn how to build uh, an efficient, well-insulated home. They're going to build, you're going to build walls and test insulation, mm -hmm. which, um, you know, the students did. You guys did that in seventh grade maybe last year where you guys decide best R value for insulation. Yes, we did um, a project on that. Exactly. We put I remember observing in there. Yep. Yeah. And you guys had to build a, a cooler and, and mm -hmm. decide what the best thing would give you the best R value. Very similar to that. You're gonna this this course is gonna have it be you're gonna be learning, working on building an architectural structure, a building that's very efficient that way. Um, and the last thing is robo builders. This is the third course. This is going to be nine whack nine whack, nine weeks of world of tech, um, similar to the way it is now. So we're still going to use our wood shop. They're still going to have a lot of those projects that are in world of tech. If you've ever taken that course, yeah. if you haven't, have you taken world yeah. of tech? So you've got your um, your egg cars. I mean, obviously those are STEM related yeah. projects. Mm -hmm. um, we did an egg car. I remember when I was a senior in physics. So I mean, you guys are doing it in seventh grade in, in what is supposed to be a wood shop class. It's way more than a wood shop class. Yeah. Um, and so you're going to take some of those existing projects and then the other half is going to be robotics. That's really cool that they're combining like a class that's already existing and adding something like more different into it to mm -hmm. help add a little bit more STEM into the school. So um, will the other electives like that we have now, will they be dropping any of them in order to fit some of these new electives into our schedule? Good question. I mean, and uh, if you guys understand, the reason that's it's a great question for a lot of reasons, but our electives are based on how many people sign up for them. Yeah. I mean, that, that's how many sections I'm able to run. I mean, mm -hmm. if everybody in the seventh grade wanted to take Robo Builders, for example, I would have a lot of sections of Robo Builders, yeah. but not a lot of others. So the more competition you have for, for electives, the less likelihood you're going to be able to run some of them, right? So the ones that are going to go by the wayside, our careers is going to be gone. Right now we will have one semester section of that. Um, World of Tech is going to be gone. Is that because it's going to be? It's going to now be Robo Builders. Yeah. Exactly. And that's a seventh. The neat thing about Robo Builders is it's a seventh and eighth grade course, where World of Tech has been primarily a seventh grade yeah. class with some eighth graders in it. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one's going to be fair game for everybody. But World of Tech is one of our most popular electives, and we're on seven sections of it this year. Um, and then Computer Design Tech is gone. But that is going to look a lot like um, your uh, either your Green Design and even your Code Wizard. So the interest level of kids that would take those courses, would, would they would like that. You know, the ones yeah. that want to have that background. So where did the funding come from for these electives? Another good question. Where's the money come from in schools yeah. all the time, right? Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a combination. The project lead the way resources, training, materials are coming from foundation grants in a, from a very generous community um, who helped. Um, they wanted to see more STEM opportunities for kids, so they went you know, the next mile and said, we'll, we'll kick in some money on top of what the taxpayers have committed through a bond issue for the STEM school. Project lead the way is being funded which is the things like when I was talking about, you know, um, in you know developing computers and 
and uh, you know, the materials that you're going to need for robo builders, that's going to be provided through some foundation grant. Um, and then the pay for the teachers comes out of our general fund. I mean, that's, that's just staffing. I mean, that's, yeah. you know, the teachers are going to be teaching one thing or the other. So that money is, is existing money, and then the other is going to be some external. So pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want to, like, add that we didn't? No, this there? is your show. Okay. So if you've got any, any other questions or anything that I didn't explain well enough, I get kind of long-winded on this. So I, hopefully I was clear enough, didn't talk too fast. Thanks for watching!